Hi guys, this is GSNR.com and I'm here with the unboxing of the Motorola Moto G84. It's a mid-range phone that comes in a beautiful Pantone Viva Magenta Hue. At the same time, it has a P-OLED screen, 120Hz, IP certification, pretty fast charging and a 50 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization, plus Ready4 technology, which makes it connect to a monitor, uh, keyboard and mouse. This is the beautiful Viva Magenta Hue and the price is around $400, maybe even less in some countries. It's one of the lighter phones on the market. It's uh, somewhere below uh, 170 grams in weight and uh, it comes with a clean Android. So this is an unboxing. Let's see what's inside the box. First of all, we got this plastic case here, which is transparent and flexible, protects the handset. Next up, We've got uh, a bunch of accessories such as the metal keys to access the slots, nano SIM and micro SD. Then there is the juridic info and then there is the readme guide. And then we have the cable going from USB-C to USB-A which hooks up to the charger. It's a 33 watt charger even though the battery charges at 30 watts and it's got an USB-A connector. Should be good enough to also charge your uh, iPhone 15 Pro by the way if you have it and uh, you don't have a charger. Okay, so with the packaging out of the way, you should probably know it's a plastic free package, this one here. And we have here the version that comes with, let's see, 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. Now, aside from this color, there are others like marshmallow blue and midnight blue. Uh, this one is covered with echo leather, there's also one covered with plastic. We have plastic for the frame, which measures 7.6 mm in thickness. And I should probably also mention that the weight is only 166.8 grams, very light. Of course, flat glass at the front with some form of protection and a symmetrical uh, set of bezels, even though they're not the slimmest in the world, I have to say that. The good news is that we have IP certification here, it's of the IP54 variety, which means dust and splash resistant. The flat frame helps with the grip, by the way. Okay, so that's pretty much it. The collaboration between Motorola and Pantone continues, and I think it's time to address the screen that we have here. Uh, this is a pretty bright plastic OLED 6.5 incher with a resolution of uh, 26 100 over 1080 pixels. It shows 1 billion colors, has a 120Hz refresh rate and up to 1300 nits in brightness. Screen to body ratio 85.7%. Next up a CPU we've definitely heard of before, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 5G 6 nanometer octa-core chip with the GPU Adreno 619. Now it also can be found on the OnePlus Nord CE3 Lite as well as the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G. In the current case, it's accompanied by 12 gigs of RAM and 256GB uh, of storage UFS 2.2 and a micro SD card slot. The battery is pretty generous for such a slim waistline, 5000mAh with 33, excuse me, 30 watt wired charging. We even have an audio jack, even though the device is so slim, and a set of stereo speakers, which can be tuned from the dedicated section inside the Moto app. Go to Play, go to Dolby Atmos, and you have your enhancements here. Smart audio, music, movie, game, podcast, and custom. And then we have the fingerprint scanner embedded in the screen. It's of the optical variety and uh, it's quite fast and snappy. On the connectivity, connectivity front, this is definitely a 5G device with Wi-Fi dual band, Bluetooth 5.1, GPS, GLONASS, uh, there's also Galileo, NFC, uh, USB-C 2.0 port is also here. Plus uh, we should have uh, FM radio, although I'm not sure that we have it on this market. Okay, so if you address the camera, um, it's time to show you this cutout here, this punch hole for a 16 megapixel selfie shooter, which films in full HD and, have, and has f2.5 aperture. At the back side, things are simple, dual camera setup. This is the LED flash. The main camera is the one that matters the most, 50 megapixel, f1.9 aperture, optical image stabilization and phase detection autofocus. Next up, 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, 120 degrees the angle of capture, f2.2 aperture and autofocus, which means we're going to get macro. And you can see that here, the main options, which is 1x, ultra wide and macro. There's also this feature here, which is a new one for me, natural auto enhance. Haven't seen that on a Motorola phone before, or maybe I missed it. And then we have the pro section, or excuse me, the more section with panorama, dual capture photo, dual capture video, night vision scan, spot color video, spot color photo, full ultra resolution 50 megapixel, time lapse, and then we have the Pro. You can switch to RAW format if you want to, RAW plus JPEG, tweak the exposure, ISO, uh, shutter, white balance, and focus. 
portrait is part of the package as well photo once again with a few options like active photos and timer and video is only shot in 30 or 60 frames per second and we're talking about full hd only stabilization can be set to on or off and finally slow motion this is android 13 with a pretty stock experience not much has been changed aside from a few moto applications as far as i know we should be getting two years of android updates the moto app is here for your customization needs you can customize basically everything themes fonts colors icon shapes display size text size layout also fingerprint animation sounds and there's a dark mode gestures the control gestures include even a sidebar quick capture lift to unlock and more for security we have the moto secure area where you have your secure folder phishing protection there's also auto lock network protection pin pad scramble and a privacy dashboard which is quite filled with features and permissions and uh, once again the tip section the display section with the lock screen and attentive display and finally the play section where you have your games with a special sidebar moto game time block calls notification and more and some audio enhancements you already saw dolby atmos by the way other extras will include family space so you can set up a profile for one of your family members either the child or the elderly with some limitations for apps moto connect you can hook up your device and extend the experience to a local monitor if you want to use this as a remote control for example then there is the moto secure again and ready for which is to connect to a pc or tablet and have the phone used for app streaming mobile desktop with a keyboard and mouse screen share use it as a webcam file transfer use it as a hotspot pc lock and smart clipboard aside from that things are pretty straightforward and simple uh, you get your uh, share of widgets which are stock and good looking and some extra moto ones which are also good looking calendar chrome and so forth you get your recent like this for multitasking so pretty stock and clean and fluid experience this has been the unboxing of the motorola moto g84 is going to be bought for this beautiful hue for the low price and the fact that you can do productivity on it thanks to ready 4 it can also handle some gaming some gaming not the best snapdragon in the world for sure there is a limitation of the full hd filming which is probably the biggest drawback for it and i have great expectations from its battery life that's it from us the unboxing of the moto g84 5g will be back with a full review very soon goodbye